The Syntashta culture, circa 2100 to 1800 BC, was a Bronze Age society located in the steppes of what is now southern Russia and northern Kazakhstan. This culture is best known for its advanced metallurgy, fortified settlements, and the early use of chariots, which were an innovation that had a profound impact on warfare. Syntashta settlements, such as the archaeological site of Arkham, were strategically fortified with defensive walls, suggesting that warfare and conflict played a central role in their society. The culture is often associated with the Indo-Iranian migrations, as linguistic and genetic evidence links the Syntashta people to the ancestors of later Indo-European speaking groups in South Asia and the Iranian plateau. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Syntashta culture is their mastery of bronze metallurgy, which enabled them to produce weapons and tools of high quality, including axes, spearheads, and daggers. The Syntashta descend from the corded ware culture of Europe and continued the bronze metalworking tradition of their corded ware ancestors. They adopted the Kurgan burial tradition of another steppe culture, which preceded them, the Yamnaya. Syntashta ancestry is highest in North India and Afghanistan. And although the Syntashta resembled Northern Europeans in autosomal DNA, Syntashta ancestry is completely absent in Europe. For this video, I gathered the raw DNA of 27 academic Syntashta samples. The files range from very poor quality to decent quality, most being rather decent coverage. Eight files were low quality. Every male sample carried Y lineage are 1A. The most common predicted phenotype was Nordic. Although I must remark, I was rather liberal with my definition of Nordic, as I included those with predicted corded phenotypes in the Nordic group, as well as North Atlantic and North Pontic phenotypes. Other phenotypes were also present among the Syntashta, such as Mediterranean and Alpinate. The most common eye color among the Syntashta was brown followed by blue and hazel, which were roughly equally as common as brown. Green eyes and dark brown eyes were also present. The most common hair color among the Syntashta was dark brown, followed by dark blonde and light brown. The most common skin color among the Syntashta was white, followed by olive, although light brown skin was also present. There were samples who scored dark brown skin as well, but they were low quality. The most common hair texture among the Syntashta was wavy, followed by curly and straight, although there were even samples with predicted kinky hair. The most common nose shape among the Syntashta was Greek, which is a long and aquiline nose shape. Most of the Syntashta samples were taller than average. Regarding their dopaminergic profile, the Syntashta were predisposed to an intermediate speed of dopamine reuptake and lower availability of D2 receptors, which gives some protection from bipolar disorder and schizophrenia, but predisposes them to ADHD. The Syntashta were strongly predisposed to autism, which is typical for Eurasians with my calculator. One of the 27 Syntashta samples was predicted to be lactase persistent. The Syntashta samples were predisposed to an overall lower level of empathy based on OXDR genotypes. The Syntashta were predisposed to an average odds of cardiovascular issues and an average level of plasma homocysteine, which overall leads to average predisposition to cardiovascular illnesses. The Syntashta were quite athletic. The sprinter ACTN3 allele was overrepresented among the Syntashta relative to European average. The Syntashta had average odds of epithelial cancers based on 8Q24 genotype and average odds of autoimmune diseases based on HLA genotype. Regarding autoimmune diseases, they had predispositions to multiple sclerosis, type 1 diabetes, and rheumatoid arthritis, which are conditions common in Northern Europeans. The Syntashta had some predisposition to atrial fibrillation, which is another condition common in Northern Europe. The Syntashta had average odds of obesity and other metabolic conditions, which includes type 2 diabetes. One of the 27 Syntashta samples had very high predicted iron levels and had a predisposition to hemochromatosis, otherwise known as the Celtic curse due to its prevalence in the British Isles. Regarding telomere lengths, there were roughly as many Syntashta with predicted short telomere length as long length, indicating a predisposition to intermediate biological lifespan. The Syntashta were predisposed to a slightly elevated level of LDL cholesterol, which is bad for cardiovascular health and roughly average level of vitamin D. The Syntashta were predisposed to roughly average odds of syncope, which is the temporary loss of consciousness 
due to a loss of blood flow to the brain. The most common blood types among the Syntashto were A, followed by O, and some samples were predicted to exhibit blood type B as well. Make sure you check out the description of this video for useful links to research data. In the description, you will also find the links to purchase all the raw DNA files of the Syntashta samples analyzed in this video, and the link to purchase my Trait Predictor executable tool, essentially giving you the ability to recreate any aspect of the study on your own. Don't forget to leave a like and share if you enjoyed the video.